Hey guys, this is Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm talking about artificial bonsai, bonsai trees. No, not bonsai, but bonsai trees. So, uh, artificial bonsai trees attract favorable attention. Artificial bonsai trees are often mistaken for real bonsai trees because of the fine work that goes into making the imitations. They are carefully or usually carefully crafted to resemble the same thing. Now, if you have a real bonsai tree and you're interested in learning how to trim, sculpt, and prune it, then make sure you go to bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. But since that's not what we're talking about, let's get back to it. The bonsai tree was originally created in China, but the Japanese are most closely associated with the bonsai tree. The Japanese people have been more open to Westerners, so this is where the bonsai tree was most visible. Now, this is true and not true. Both Chinese and Japanese cultures or people have been kind of um, uh, closed. Uh, I mean, you got to think even back to, um, you know, uh, Jet Li, you know, um, and all them. Uh, he, You know, the Chinese did not like him teaching, or at least the Chinese martial artists did not like him teaching to uh, non-Chinese people. And uh, <clears throat> I also think it wasn't necessarily that the Japanese were more willfully open necessarily to Westerners. Um, the bonsai uh, kind of exploded, at least in the West, um, thanks to uh, like uh, GIs or whatever coming back. So uh, from occupying Japan, you know, we, we kind of, you know, defeated them and occupied them or rather not we the uh, uh federal the american federal government occupied them so i don't know if it's necessarily saying that they're more open maybe they did become more open but um either way they were more open whether willfully or not uh so you know this is where you get the uh we think of japanese um bonsai it's because of that the history between america the foremost power uh, in the Western world, you know, occupying them. People come back, bringing some things back, like the bonsai uh, tree. Now, real bonsai trees are carefully cultivated by experts who know the fine points of growing the delicate, gorgeous, miniature trees. They know which trees can be cultivated as bonsai trees, and almost any, to be honest. And they know exactly how to care for the trees to grow these Bonsai trees. Uh, although there are many different types of bonsai trees, they are simply miniature trees. They are planted in small pots that will slow and stunt their growth. Uh, during their life in these small containers, the growers know how will uh, you know will have to know how to prune the roots and leaves to keep them healthy in spite of being in small trays or containers. Most bonsai trees cannot be left dry for really any period of time, uh, or they're going to die. But this isn't surprising, as it is in an isolated environment and relies upon human care to survive along at all so these magnificent trees must be kept moist but not soaked uh, there are some exceptions i know some actually want you to put the whole tray or the whole pot down in water and soak it um, but that's not all of them also the artificial bonsai trees are created in the same type of small containers to capture the look of the real deal they can last for years without any of the precise care required for uh, their real counterparts, true bonsai. So these are pretty much inexpensive replicas. Uh, even though some of them may be expensive, they're, inexp they're inexpensive, sometimes in absolute terms. Of course, inexpensive, the more I think about it, it's just relative. You know, something may be one cent, oh, it's inexpensive. To, it's not really inexpensive to a man who has nothing to his name, not one cent. But anyways, relative to real bonsai, they're going to be less expensive. So real bonsai trees are small, and they come in a wide variety of trees. The same is true for the artificial bonsai. Uh, there are ad artificial crabapple bonsai trees, as well as flowering types, uh, including azalea and bougainvillea uh, bonsai trees. Uh, these have beautiful, colorful flowers like the true bonsai trees. There are fantastic models that resemble real ficus and real elm tree uh, plants or trees or whatever. Most of them are about 8 to 12 inches high, but some can be larger. I've seen artificial trees, bonsai trees that are like 6 feet, and I'm thinking, how's that bonsai tree? Like, 
Maybe if it's supposed to go to like 30 feet, you call it. But that feels like it's a stretch. <laughs> but artificial bonsai trees have beauty and intrigue as well as a lower price tag. Genuine bonsai trees are beautiful, but they're delicate things that require constant attention. And not just the attention, but proper care. They can cost hundreds of dollars, and the smallest infection can destroy them. The artificial trees have the beauty without the concerns of cultivating these beautiful bonsai. Most authentic bonsai trees are carefully monitored by experts for several years before they sell. This incurs severe costs and as such tends to decrease the supply. The artificial bonsai trees are popular gifts that do not need specialized care from the recipient. So here's some examples or really what I recommend for artificial bonsai is an artificial bon a lemon bonsai and an artificial pomegranate bonsai. Now, um, there are other uh, artificial bonsai trees, but a lot of them are just like going to be green things. You know, they ain't going to have these colors. Now, you can get, you know, flowering trees uh, with the flowers as if they're in bloom, but uh, sometimes those are going to be a little bit more expensive. These are not. But anyways, that's the end of this video, and I'll be making many more, so subscribe, comment below, and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.